welcome to another Unfiltered Gamer Board Game Review. I'm Callie, here with my friend Alicia. Hi. And today we're going to be reviewing Here Be Dragons Into the Unknown by Toadie's Game. Here Be Dragons is a game for one to six players, uh, takes anywhere from one to four hours to play for ages 14 and up. And we will be exploring the wild, wild world of uh, where there could be dragons, fighting monsters, hoping to defeat a boss, gaining territory and resources, and trying to get to 10 victory points first. All right, let's check out the game. All right, so in the game we have the player board. Um, it has upgrades that you can have to your weapons. And then on the bottom we have... Um, victory points and resources and your health and things like that and then we also have tiles in the center of where you will be exploring so we have the starter tile in the middle where everyone starts and then everyone also has a little triangle that'll note where they're going next as we explore this wild world we'll be drawing tiles and placing them onto those tile spaces and then um, seeing what happens on that tile. There could be monsters, there could be a watchtower where we can explore and see more. There could be plains where we could build a settlement. There could be um, just mountains and forests that's, that slow us down a little bit and so on and so forth. We also have event cards, three different types of monsters and um, you can choose a boss. And we also have monster tokens and battle dice. Yes. So throughout the game, you'll be encountering different levels of monsters for the 1, 2 level, 3, 4, and the 5 plus levels. And those will vary upon their strength. And so you'll need to have upgraded your character before you fight some of the higher level monsters. But the higher level monsters will give you more resources and rewards. In addition, amongst the many bosses, you'll choose one to play for this campaign game. And uh, as you are drawing through the event deck, after a certain number of corruption cards, the boss will come out and do different things depending on which boss you chose. On your turn, you'll move your character, draw an event card, and then do a variety of actions. So on your turn, uh, you can choose to fight a monster if there's an icon for the monster on the tile. You can upgrade your tech tree by spending gold. If you have enough influence, you have 10 influence, you can trade those in for one victory point. If there's another player on your tile, you can spend two influence to fight that player. Uh, and you can also play any cards that you have in your hand from the event deck that you may have kept for later. Once you get 10 victory points, you win the game, but you can also make changes if you wanted to make it a shorter game. You can make it less victory points or a longer game, you can make it more victory points. And you can also add more bosses if you want to make it more challenging. To get to 10 victory points, you can gain victory points by defeating the level 5 plus monsters, defeating the boss, uh, gaining victory points through influence, and gaining victory points through completing quests that may come out from the event deck. All right, let's talk about the game now, Alicia, what we liked and we didn't like. So here are, I really like the wooden components of the game. They're nice, high quality, and um, really feels fun to move your character around on the board and explore the different tiles. Yes, wooden meeples are always a plus. I love these. And then they also have the, the monster tokens too, and I like those too, because they're also wooden meeples. <laughs> And then the uh, player boards, how they have the indents for um, placing the, the cubes, that just makes it a little easier to manage and you don't get mixed up, especially because there's, there's 10 for each of your resources. So it's really easy in some games for like, wait, was this on three or four or what? So the indents are really nice, the double layer player board. Mm -hmm. I do like the tree on this player board. The artwork? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it does kind of look confusing sometimes, like which one it branches off to. You have to really look at it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like. I think it could add a little more color for the player boards to kind of match how colorful and vibrant the, the map on the actual uh, board with all the tiles is. So, but the artwork overall, it, it's simple, like classic high fantasy. Um, but I think it works for the game, especially there's so many um, different cards. Mm -hmm. I think the art really does work with the theme. 
Um, I like the theme, but I think there should be more dragons in it. We actually didn't encounter, like, any... <laughs> yeah, I wish more of the... Maybe because we didn't get a lot of five monsters. Because yeah. we got those tiles kind of early on when we weren't ready to go after them. Mm -hmm. But um, I wish, yeah, more of the actual monsters had some dragon elements to them. Uh, since we didn't have... Well, we did have a dragon boss, but it didn't feel like a dragon, the corruption boss. Mm-hmm. The gameplay, we, I love uh, the aspect of exploring. You're gonna go off and see what tile you get next. As well, you, you kind of have an open choice that you can go along with other players and, and fight them more and fight them for the, the land, the territory there. Or you can kind of set off on your own, on your own adventure and see, see what you explore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I was playing, I was pretty much too far away to fight anyone. Mm -hmm. But I did try to fight monsters and the, uh, the smaller monsters are easier but you don't get as much loot, and then the bigger monsters, you'll get more loot, but it's harder. Um, I like how you can upgrade your weapons and it will make it easier to fight them. Um, the fighting is a lot like Risk, um, which makes it, it can be up to chance sometimes what you roll. Yes, but how you develop on your yes. tree will be how you're fighting. Um, some of my negatives for the game, I'd say, is you when you're trying to fight a monster, you have to roll a die first to see if you'll even have um, the chance to fight the monster, and I felt that was kind of a negative. Maybe it's kind of meant to slow the game down a bit, but it felt really bad if that's kind of all you're doing on your turn is going to fight a monster, and yeah. you can't, maybe you don't have anything else you can do, so if felt like you didn't get to do anything on your turn sometimes. Yeah, especially when you're like, man, this is the monster I can finally beat and you can't beat it. Yeah, or it's not there, it disappeared. <laughs> yeah, or if you happen to be forced to uh, fight a monster that you can't beat. Then... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That could happen too. <laughs> yeah. Um, as well, at the end, we felt like we weren't powerful enough yet to defeat the boss. Um, Maybe, maybe we could have, but it felt like really like, oh, that boss is really powerful mm -hmm. and we didn't really have enough time to, to build up and have enough die to defeat the boss. <laughs> so, yeah. so we, we actually won a different way <laughs> yeah. instead of fighting the boss. Yeah, I wish we were able to like fully upgrade our armor and everything so that we mm -hmm. can like be as strong as possible. Yeah, you want to get to that third tier in this type of game. Um, and, and not maybe just with one, but multiple, which would be nice. Overall though, it, you can kind of adjust the game for what kind of campaign you want to play. So that mitigates that. You can kind of adjust how you want to play. And it's a great adventure style game for, uh, I'd say a good, a good group of friends who want to play a good link, you know, a little bit deep, but not too, too complicated campaign style adventure game. Yeah, it was, overall it was fun and I would play it again with another group of friends. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer review. If you want to check out Here Be Dragons, check out the link in the description below. As well, check out our website unfilteredgamer.com. This week we are giving away a set of uh, dice that are mermaid dice. So check that out from Gatekeeper Games. Go to the website and enter the giveaway there. And of course, if you like this video and you're watched all the way to the end, please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more reviews as well as playthroughs. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, we look forward to see you guys, See you guys next, next time. time. I don't know if you wanted to like say something about dragons, but okay. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, we should plan that before if you wanted to. <laughs>performed anything involving talking. Hello everyone and welcome to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. I'm Callie here with Alicia. Say hi. <laughs> here with my friend Alicia. Hi. 
And today we're going to be reviewing. No! She said hi, and then she even like rolled her eyes. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> yes, you did. I know, but I just I don't know what to say. It's That's just talk to, as though you're talking to her about the game. Or just talking to me about the game. It's the same concept. I am smiling. Now, you are. now she's smiling. You are, you're not doing this anymore. <laughs> that one thing was weird. It go. feels weird. <laughs> the component quality. I'm sweating. Okay. What if I say something bad? It's fine. If you don't like something about the game, say it. Yeah. It's a review. It's okay. Video. Yeah. And you guys can go back and forth with who starts the topic. I or, like the wooden component. 